hello friends this is our second session on multiplication uh, in the last session we learned that when adding becomes difficult because of bigger numbers we use rules of multiplication to make it easy and fast and uh, then we learned uh, first table of multiplication table of 2 uh, now why we learn tables because they help the mental mathematics working out math problems in our minds becomes faster and easier by using tables and we don't have to use our fingers to work out answers uh, there are many tips and tricks for learning uh, tables but one thing is common in all of them and that is practice yes take pen and paper write them and practice them okay today we will uh, try to learn table 3 which is counting in threes as well so let's see Look, when we have only one digit 3, there's nothing to add into it. But in mathematical form, we say it is 1 times 3, which is 3 itself equal to 3. So 1 times 3 is 3. When there are two threes to add, we say 2 times 3 is equal to 6. 3 and 3, 6. 3 threes to add, 3 times 3 is equal to 9. 3 threes are 9. When 4 threes to add we have, we write it like this. 4 times 3 is equal to 12. 5 threes are 15. 6 threes are 18. 7 threes are 21. 8 threes are 24. 9 threes are 27. 10 threes are 30. So if I put all the table on one page, you can see here. This side of the table shows uh, why we use multiplication tables because we want to add these digits. And this is the actual table which we have to learn. And this is how we read these tables so if I remove that the extra part that was just to uh, learn the basics the main actual table is this one if you read it if you write it on your paper you can create it yourself and you can memorize it as well the next table we want to learn is table of four which is also called counting in fours so in the same way, if you keep writing it by taking one four and adding number of fours each time, if we had only one four, it's one times four equal to four. If we have two fours, two times four, three fours, three times four, twelve, four times four, sixteen, five times four, twenty, six times four. 24, 7 times 4, 28, 8 times 4, 32, 9 times 4, 36, and 10 times 4, 40. So we added 10 fourths, wrote them in this form, multiplication form, which is equal to 40, we know from addition. So this becomes a rule as well that. 10 fours are 40. We will use in big multiplication problems. I have put all the table on this one page. This is the basics. Why we use multiplication table. How we convert this addition into multiplication form. The table which you can see here. And how we read the table. It's written in these statements. So if I remove this part. For you to practice and learn the main basic table is this one 
write it practice it memorize it so that it becomes it is easy to use the next table for today which we are going to learn is table of five counting in fives in the same way you can construct your own table you have a look on this one i have put all the digits which we want to add i wrote them in the multiplication form in the table form and how to read them so only one five one times five two fives two times five three fives three times five and from addition we know how much they are so four times five twenty five times five twenty five six times five thirty seven fives seven times five thirty five eight times five forty nine times five forty five and ten times five fifty so if we put all of this table on one page this is the addition problem this is the solution and multiplication which is in the form of table and this is how we read the table if i remove this part this is the main table which we want to learn please write it and practice it the next and last one for today's session is table of six which is counting in sixes in the same way you construct your own table write it down on the paper if you want you can add these sixes as well on the left side this will show how and why we write the table you can see increase number of sixes every time turn them into times put this times sign and you know from additions that what they are 3 times 6 is 18 4 times 6 is 24 4 sixes are 24 in the same way 5 sixes are 30 6 sixes are 36 7 sixes are 42 8 sixes are 48 9 sixes are 54 10 sixes are 60 so on one page it looks like this but this is the addition problem which we just want to eliminate here so this is our basic table table of six write it down on the paper practice it so that we can easily use for our multiplication problems so that's it good luck and thank you for watching